Welcome to Electron Online. One of the applications of differentiation is Fermat's theorem. And what is Fermat's theorem? It's actually very simplistic. The theorem goes as follows. If we have a function f of x and it has a local max or min at some value for x, let's say x equals c, and if the derivative of that function at x equals 0 actually exists, then we can conclude that f prime of x, in other words, the derivative of the function evaluated at x equals c has, is equal to 0, meaning there is a 0 slope there. So that is the conclusion. So Fermat's theorem goes, if there is such a function that has a local, max, a local max or local min at a particular value for x, and the derivative at that location exists, then the slope there must be 0. I think we already understood that and realize that, but that's a theorem. That is an absolute conclusion we can draw from that. Also, the second if is very important because sometimes we can have a function that looks like this. So let's say we have a function that looks like this. You can say, well, there's a local maximum. So there, and we can put this on the x, y axis, and you can say, well, this here is x equals c. There's our x axis, there's our y axis. We can call this a local max. So everything still fits. There's a local max there. We evaluate the function at x equals c, but there's one thing missing. There's no derivative at that particular location. The derivative, since there is an inconsistency there or non-continuity in the slope of the function at that particular point, we cannot take the derivative there, and therefore, this second step doesn't exist. There's no such thing as the derivative there, therefore we cannot conclude that the slope there is zero. So there's a good example where the theorem does make a lot of sense. It has to look something like this, where the derivative continues through that point, so the, the derivative actually does exist there. The function is continuous, and we can see then that at that point, if this is a local max, therefore the slope there must be zero. And that is Fermat's theorem, and here's an example why we need a theorem like that. That's how we do that.